Israeli's children are having fun peacefully at a special event organized in Jerusalem after they were evacuated from southern Israel. These moms, Ortal Haddad and Ella Tovim Gadasi, say they were keeping the Sabbath at their homes in the farming community of Mashen near Ashkelon when Hamas attacked. We hear the rockets, unstoppable rockets for the first time. Because we don't have a shelter, we cover our kids, me and my husband, uh, on the ground and say all the time Tehillim, from Tehillim. Psalms. Yes, all the time. We are so scared, you know, I couldn't breathe. I felt that I can't breathe for, for the first time. It was an awful week for us in Mashen. Uh, most of the time we spent at the shelters and it was forbidden to go out. We felt unsecured, we felt unprotected. As a parents, we felt like we cannot protect, protect our children. If, uh, if a terrorist will come, I have nothing that I can do. David Nekrutman of Isaiah Projects says they hope to restore a sense of security to these people. We said we're going to adopt a community. With my friends, and after 23 years of working with different organizations involved in Jewish-Christian relations over the years, everyone came together and said, we're, we're, we're standing behind you, David. Nine days after the beginning of the war, Nekrutman and other ministries helped evacuate Moshav Mashen to Jerusalem. We evacuated nearly 50 families from a community that was near the Gaza border because of missile attacks from Gaza into the Israeli communities on the southern border. We felt it was our responsibility of pooling resources between Jews and Christians together. So we have a whole bunch of ministries working together to make this happen here in Jerusalem. We didn't hear the rockets, we didn't hear the missiles, and we were very, very calm to be here, so we feel safe. You know, for the first time, we can breathe, finally. And our baby don't have to walk up in the middle of the night crying. Both Haddad and Gadassi express their gratitude for the rescue. We want to thank the Christian, okay, who gave us the donation, which is incredible for me, that they care about us. I'm surprised to hear that it's, it's people not from Israel, it's American, and it's Christian American. And it made me think that when, when you truly care about someone, when you truly love someone, you doesn't care what he's religious, where does he live. As a teenager, Haddad had to evacuate her home almost 20 years ago when Israel uprooted some 9,000 Israelis from communities in the Gaza Strip and northern West Bank as part of the 2005 disengagement. While Israeli and Palestinian leaders described that as a move toward peace, it instead led to Hamas winning control of the region, followed by incessant fighting and now war. This situation, it's because we left our home, because we gave our land, the God land, to, to the Hamas, okay? For me, it's only for the Hamas, okay? And I want to go back home. I want to feel safe. You know, in Gush Katif, I felt safe, safe. Now I don't feel safe. Nekrutman says while much of the world has condemned Israel and calls to free Palestine, he believes that means being free of Hamas and urges Christians to pray. I would say to our Christian brothers and sisters out there, if you're praying, pray for our enemies to turn their hearts to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and then see the light and actually make real peace. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.